Hello, my friends. Today I'll be teaching from the book of 1 John, chapter 2 and verse 18. John says, Little children, it is the last time, and as you have heard that the Antichrist shall come, even now are many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. In the book of 1 John, chapter 2 and verse 18, John is saying it is the last time. They believed it was the last days. Because it was. The end began as soon as the temple was destroyed. Because Jesus was telling his disciples what were the signs of the end and the signs of his return. So they knew it was the last times. Because they were in the end time. In the book of 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1. Timothy tells us that the spirit speaketh expressly. That in the later times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Second Thessalonians chapter two and verse three and four says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. Do you hear what it said, church? That day shall not come. Except there come a fallen away first, and that man of sin shall be revealed. Here we go, church. The Holy Spirit of God said America has fallen away from her God. Removing prayer in the government. Not allowing prayer in schools. Not allowing our soldiers to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right, church. That the soldiers can pray, but they just can't pray in the name of Jesus Christ. No longer a Christian nation. Everyone has a God, church. What separates us from them is the holy name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Jesus warned us in Matthew chapter 24 and verse 9, this was the sign of the end and the sign of his coming. You shall be hated of all nations for his name's sake, for the name of Jesus Christ. What did Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1 tell us? Timothy said, The Spirit speaketh expressly that some shall depart from the faith. Revelation chapter 2 verse 4 and verse 5. Read those scriptures, church. 1 John chapter 4 and verse 1. John warns us, Believe not every spirit, but try the spirit, whether they are of God. For there are many false prophets are gone out into the world. Verse 2. Know you the spirit of God? Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. Verse 3. Every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And that is the spirit of an antichrist. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 13 and 14 re re warns us, church. It warns us that Satan himself can be transformed into an angel of light. Revelation chapter 12 and verse 3 and 4. He even went up into the heaven and deceived the stars by his lying prophecies. He drew them with his tail. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 15 says the prophet that teaches lies, he is the tale. Well, the devil went up into heaven, transforming himself into an angel of light and deceived those stars that were in heaven. He is the false prophet. Revelation chapter 16 and verse 13 and verse 14, we see the seducing spirits, the spirits of devils. The doctrine of devils. They came out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. Church Galatians chapter 1 and verse 8. It says, though we, the, the apostles are warning us, though we are an angel from heaven. What did I just show you? That Satan himself can transform into an angel of light. Galatians says, if an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you that we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. The doctrines of devils. Read the book of Revelation chapter 2 and verse 14 and 15. 
Jesus is warning all seven of the churches. They are only two that Jesus has found worthy. The church of Smyrna and the Philadelphia church. The rest of the other churches have fallen away. Giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Whoo! We're seeing it today, church. We are seeing it today. In the book of Revelation, chapter 13, the churches of Satan. Revelation, chapter 3, and verse 9. Revelation, chapter 3, and verse 20, 21, and 22. We see the biggest of them all. The Jezebel church. Jesus warns her if she does not repent, he will cast her into the great tribulation. Church, we are indeed in the last days. The last days have be began since the temple was destroyed in 70 AD after the death of Jesus Christ. We are in the last days. But remember, church, we all have a work to do. We must be ready at all times to share the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 9 says, Let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Church, we are indeed in the place to where we are weary. Even myself grow weary at times. And there are times that I feel like that I'm going to give up. But the Spirit of God is strong in this old girl. Because I'm not a looking back. We saw what happened to Lot's wife when she lingered long in the city. No, I'm a looking forward. I might not know the day and the hour that my Lord and my Savior will take his church. Or he will return. But I know my Lord and Savior is coming. And I know he's coming for a church. His body. Amen. But church, we must do the work that God has given us to do. We must plant the seeds. We must win the lost. In the book of Galatians chapter 8 and verse 8, What shall we reap, church, if we faint not? We shall reap everlasting life. Amen. First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 9. God has not appointed us to wrath. Woo, glory, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. But to obtain salvation by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen, church. There is always good news. There is always a light in the darkest moment. Always the light of God shines bright into the world. Church, let your light shine. Amen. We're not in darkness. We walk in the light of God, the love of God. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Church, if you let that devil steal your joy, he'll take your strength. I don't know about you, but I got my armor on. I have my sword, which is the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. I am ready to stand in the evil day. I am ready to stand in the last days. I am ready to stand for the name of Jesus Christ, which is my Lord and my Savior. I am not ashamed of my Lord. I am not ashamed to announce to the world that Jesus Christ is my Lord. He is my King and my Savior. He is my Master. I love him with all of my heart, my soul, my mind, and my strength. I'm not ashamed of my God. I'm not ashamed of Jehovah. I'm not ashamed to call the God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob my God. I am not ashamed of my God or my Lord and my Savior. I am here today, church, to tell the church, get up. We have better things to do. What is coming will come, church. But let's have the good news. Let's preach the good news. We have hope, church. We're not a church that is defeated. You all talk like you have been beaten down and you are defeated and you cannot get up. I'm here to tell you today, church, you better get up. Do you hear me? You better get up. Greater is he that is in you. Than he that is in the world. You're defeated. 
My goodness, church, get up and say to that devil, there is a victory in the name of Jesus. There is a victory in the blood of Jesus because they overcame by the word of their testimony and by the blood of the Lamb. Woo, glory, hallelujah. Woo, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to his holy name. Amen, church. Glory to the holy name of God. In the holy name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and my Savior. There is a victory. Victory in the name of Jesus. Victory today, church. Get up, church. Shake off. Shake off that spirit that's trying to weigh you down. Shake it off, church. Put on the garment of praise. Put on the garment of thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we love you. We worship your holy name. We are a victorious church through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Woo! Glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen, church. Amen. Now, how many of you are with me, church? How many of you are a victorious church? How many of you are overcomers? Amen. How many of you that know I can do all things through Christ Jesus, whom strengthens me? Glory to God. Hallelujah. God bless you, church. God bless each and every one of you. And Jesus Christ, most holy, holy name. Amen.